Hey, what is up, guys? This is Tiro back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. And today in this video, I'm going to be showing you the latest build of the Havoc OS, which is the 13th August 2019 build for the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Let me quickly go into the settings and show you guys the about section. And here, as you can see, the Havoc version is 2.8 and the build date 13th August 2019. And if you want to know about the security patch, yes, we have the latest August 1st, 2019 security patch. And this is based on the like the stock kernel over here is the Pixel Plus kernel and Android 9, of course. And just click on that card to know about like flashing this ROM. Just instead of that AOSIP interface ROM, flash this Havoc OS. I have been using this ROM for quite a long and I have to say this ROM is still great. It has a lot of customizations. Everything is neat and clean. And we have the Google Now cards to the left. This is the launcher launcher which we get by default. If you go into the settings, we do have all the customizations of the launcher launcher. We also have the double tap to sleep gesture and stuff as you can see. It works super fine. And here is the fingerprint scanner speed as you can see. I'm just double tapping to lock and I'm tapping the fingerprint scanner to like unlock the device. And the fingerprint scanner speed I would say is pretty fine, not bad. And we get all the customizations of course. Let me just show you. If you go into the settings and then have Havoc settings, you have these many customizations and it simply does not end anywhere. So you get like plenty of customizations. I have even changed these quick setting toggle like looks over here. You can change these quick setting toggle styles too. As you can see, we have this quick setting tile style over here. You don't need to worry at all like about these things. You can even change these to like oxygen OS kind of look. Let me show you as you can see. If you look closely here it looks kind of like the oxygen os and we also have the double tap to sleep on the status bar and as well we also have this like status bar brightness gesture so this works super fine and i really use this feature a lot in my daily driving and i have to say i can't live without these features and these are really great features i would say and over here like talking about vaulty -E calling yes vaulty -E calling is working fine wi-fi and stuff is working fine we also have the call recording option let me show you so here in the in call ui as you can see we also have the recording call option and you also get video calling option if you need that and one bummer is that the stock camera here is the snapdragon camera so i am not using that i flashed the anx camera over here with TWR recovery just flash the anx 130 zip then just like flash the 48 megapixel fix then this anx camera should be working fine also, if you want Google camera, you can install Google camera right away because camera to API is pre-enabled on this ROM too. And one thing that like again disappoints me is Google Pay. Well, why? Google Pay is not working by default. It just shows Google Pay can't be used. So you have a fix like you can go to the settings, then go to all apps, then find the Google Play services from here, Google Play services option, then permissions. Then if you disable the phone and SMS app permission from here, if you deny it anyway, then you can set up your Google Pay or any other banking apps should be working fine then. So that is one thing again. And one more thing is that let me show you if you go into the settings and have box settings. And then if you go into gestures here, you will have the swipe to take screenshot and this feature works super fine. No issues whatsoever. What doesn't work? Let me show you. If you go into buttons, then screen of power button torch and this long press power button so this thing let me show you it's set it to long press power button but even if i am like long pressing right now but it simply does not toggle the torch so this is a con and it still does not work it was not working even in the last build even in this one it does not work now what else is not working if you ask me well if you go into the advanced settings inside sound settings if you go into me sound enhancer you will see it just going back and if you like try to go there like forcefully it will just force stop so me audio direct is not working over here but don't get me wrong the sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is pretty decent over here not bad at all and lock screen we also have the always unlock with the fingerprint scanner as you can see forced fingerprint authentication stuff is there fingerprint authentication vibration is there face unlock is there if you need that charging info is there and also it shows kind of a like great animation over here while charging so that is a great thing and here is how the lock screen looks like you can change these like clock style however you want it does not have to be like this like android cube there are plenty of options for these and if you plug in the charger let me show you 
shows this kind of animation which looks really really cool to me at least now one thing that i wanted to mention is that like by default these like icons over here on top are like too much to the corners so you can't really see the battery icon and the clock whichever is to the sides it's like cutted out of the screen so that is why you have to go to the screen over here inside customizations then make sure you have adjusted this status bar padding once you do that it's gonna be like fine and like i have it on 12 dp i think and if you go into the display cutout let me show you that there is the full screen apps make sure you have enabled all the apps from here or even if you don't want all the apps just enable the like pubg app if you do not do that you will see a black border over here whenever you are playing pubg let me show you right now by opening pubg and the rom as you can see it's pretty smooth no issues whatsoever in the like rom there are no kind of lags or stutters anywhere in this ui so here in pubg as you can see there are no black borders on the notches side so if you enable the full screen from that screen option inside customization it will be totally fine and if you go into the graphic settings you can play on smooth and ultra then you can go balanced and ultra or you can go hd and high of course there is no hdr option available over here and the gameplay performance i did play a couple of games and it was pretty fine no issues whatsoever while playing pubg and talking about the battery life i would say the battery life over here is pretty decent if not like too good because it has a lot of customizations maybe it's hitting the battery life a little bit but yeah the battery life is pretty decent you can definitely get about seven plus hours of screen on time pretty easily over here now let me open a couple of apps and show you guys the app on speeds and the ram management over here let's open file explorer now facebook twitter play store youtube instagram spotify now let's open all the apps from memory again so as you can see the app open up animations are working super fine and even the like all the apps are in memory so no issues whatsoever regarding memory management over here that i see and even though this is a 4 gb ram variant this feels pretty smooth while switching you might see a little bit of like glitches but otherwise there is uh, like the smoothness of this rom is pretty fine and over here if you like want to use this rom and if you're okay with the cons i mentioned in this video you can definitely flash the rom by watching that video on the card and i would say havoc os still has like pretty great customizations but it's kind of lacking in my opinion when it comes to the customizations when like compared to the other roms that is just my opinion let me in the comments what do you guys think this is tiro from kd and tech signing off and please hit the subscribe button and thumbs up if you like this video and thank you so much for watching guys i'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye now